nightmare. I'm sorry. What is this? Oh, I've been stressing and overthinking, and you're gonna laugh at me, Sal. Okay, you're overthinking, you're stressing, you don't know where it's going. But there it is again. You are being hunted by the sun. Something is about to happen in 30 days. I'm gonna, let me get there first. Ten of Cups. There is something that you're anticipating. So that Nine of Swords is not something stressing you. That's something that you're thinking right now that's going to manifest. It makes you worry because you know is about to come true. Someone that you feel like you love is about to give you what you always wanted. And it is just about to start sooner than you think. The delay, I feel, is going to be over. The confusion between the two of you, well, they're about to make that decision. And what's this decision? Should I? Maybe I gatekeep this card for now. How about that? Mm -hmm. Let me gatekeep this. <laughs> I gotta put this here uh, so you guys can see. Oh, I gotta put it next to the Rose Quartz. Scorpio, you're gonna be like, how dare Sal live that card? Ooh, that card says it all. Oh, I'll open that at the end. So we know, okay, everybody's on the same page here. So welcome, Scorpio, to your reading. We're going to go to your side and your person's side. Like I was just saying here, mm -hmm. we just did a previous reading about the 30 days. And the sun, of course, is ticking right now in your seventh house. When I say ticking, it is there for 30 days. Now, you know, like all this winds up here. Very important. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So that card is a card of spice. I call it the card of spice then. Okay. So um, it will be open, don't worry. Okay. Let me, let me see first. You're stressed, you're worried, things are going to come through finally. So let it be for the, uh, you know, give it to the Scorpio to overthink, you know, oh, it's too good. If it's too good, it ain't true. You have this whole doubt right? The Nine of Swords is trust issue. The Six of Swords, of course, is the part where you're feeling right now. It's just like, no, I don't think so. No, impossible. So you like to go opposite when the universe is supporting you. You like, it's like, no. And then when the universe doesn't have your back, no, I will fight also. So you do like contradiction in your life because that's Martian. Aries, same thing. Scorpio, same thing. Mm -hmm. Because you like to fight for things. You know, it keeps you going. It keeps you pushing. And here right now with the Nine of Swords, the Six of Swords, of course, you know, it's like, I don't know where it's going, Sal. Like, we've been together for quite some time and things doesn't look that it's going to get any brighter at any time. The Sun card. Can be a Leo. You got Sag. You got Capricorn. You got Pisces. You got Taurus. You got Libra over here. Okay. So the Sun card here is just showing right now. Okay, that in this situation, okay, with the sun, okay, things are about to get clear. Yesterday, we did a 30-day. And of course, I'll do that again here. Okay, every time I see the sun, I'll do that for you. Okay, I did it for the Aries also. So the sun with the temperance for the people who's trying to uh, meet or reconcile or um, have a connection with your person that they love. You got temperance over here with the sun card. Of course, the cross watcher here are also hoping, oh, the Scorpio is going to be back. The Scorpio, we're going to be with it. Well, we will see in the next 30 days with that sun card. Okay, hold your horses. Of course, I'm here to deliver, to serve, to give. We are giving 30 days with that sun card. What will happen to a Scorpio who is definitely in love? Okay, no, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 in 30 days. Okay. Well, one, it could be, you know, like I would do the 30 days and it depends on, you know, who and where is the planet. But the sun is in the seventh house for you. That's why it's very important. It's not significant to all the other zodiac, but for you it is. Okay. Now it depends if the sun, uh, if someone has a fifth house in, in Taurus, then that's a different zodiac again, because that's a dating and romance. So where the sun is, it actually brightens up that house. So clarity comes every time you see like a problem coming out, because the sun is illuminating it. It's the luminaries, right? So here, if there was a problem, there was an issue. 
with the person that you're dealing with in the next 30 days, that's where the sun is. So plain and simple. Now it all shines. Now everything is going to be clear. And in the past, of course, it hasn't been clear. In your career also, everything is going to be clear with the sun card. With the uh, Ten of Cups over here, so the uncertainty with your person, Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups, that basically gets you like feeling down. But you know this. It's almost as if like you miss them, you long for them. Then you have here the King of Pentacles. You are manifesting a great amount of wealth over here. I feel like you have traveled, you have moved or relocated. I feel like it's a different country, Six of Swords with the King of Pentacles, because that's distance right there. If you, This is more of like a, a career move, a business strategy, okay? Like to uh, greener pastures, if I would say that. Um, and you're going to get better with that. With the Temperance over here, I see you, Scorpios, okay? Like really doing all the things to cleanse, to heal, to manifest. Okay, so that's good. Temperance is a tool balance life before we get into balance with other people. So you may be, um, what is a balanced life? The sleep is very important. The rest is very important. The food. So this could be a cleansing that you're doing with the temperance because you're, you're, this is like meeting the hot and cold, basically, energies in your life. So you're not trying to burn yourself. You're not trying to do this. You're just more of like, I'm just going to be here at present because that's where it is with temperance. It's meeting, right, on your end. Now, it can also be a reconciliation with the sun and the temperance between someone, okay? Now you have here the Empress, right? Empress with the Ace of Wands. I love this kind of connection because there's a lot of passion between you and your person. It is very, very good passion, passion wise. You have a Two of Swords here and a Seven of Cups. But right now, of course, since you have the first card is Nine of Swords, you're worried, right? You're going mental with the Nine of Swords. I mean, which Scorpio doesn't go mental? I know. <laughs> now you have here the Hangman. The reason why you're stressed is because like, I don't know if they feel the same way with me. Well, this is that card. <laughs> so, now a lot of people are manifesting this. Empress with the Temperance. I uh, with the Empress with the Ten of Cups. One specific crystal that aligns you and that helps you attract that love. Okay, well, let me share a secret. Rose Quartz shines as a beacon of transformation. This extraordinary crystal attracts love, healing emotional wounds, and enhances self-care. With its gentle energy, it nurtures your well-being, empowering you to embrace a life filled with love and joy. Embrace the magic of rose quartz. Let it radiate love, nurture your inner self, and unlock endless possibilities. Order now and embark on a journey of transformation with our exquisite handcrafted rose quartz bracelets. Discover a life filled with love, self-care, and inner beauty. Yes, so for me, okay, well not for me, it is evident, it is a rose quartz. I have my PL, of course, and I have one very, you know, um, special to me, given to me, yes. Um, you know, <laughs> rose quartz also. <laughs> and then, of course, my other design. Now, let me share with you how it works also with um, rose quartz. Because in astrology, in order for, if you're remedying, okay, or trying to fix, or trying to pay karma with regards to, hear me out here, um, certain issues in your life, let's just say it's like this. You have issues with, let's just say, because I give this as remedy, um, no, I don't want that because that's more of health. Um, all right, because it's supposed to be like this. If there is someone who's having relationship issues, okay, family, friend, you know, you help them with that issue, meaning you give them that support. This is not your relationship. You, you have a best friend, you have a parent, whatever. You become supportive of that relationship, okay? You help them, the universe helps you back. So it's a 360, it comes around to you, okay? So what you do, it's a cause and effect, it's karma, okay? To others, you help, you support, you know, a, another relationship. I know they're getting married, you know, you want to support them, you donate to that wedding. I don't know what you have to do, okay? Meaning, but it's the support. The universe comes around and supports you. Now, connected to the rose quartz, okay? If you give it to someone so that they can attract that love, then what do you think the universe is going to give you back? So gifting is very ideal for rose quartz, okay? 
Now, citrine is a different story. <laughs> but of course, if you help others, the universe helps you back. So when someone gifted it to me, well, then of course, the magic happened in their life. Vice versa. Okay. Three days, or no, in a week, three weeks. Uh, three weeks, I think, not three days. Three weeks, the person found a relationship. Heartbeat like that, like that fast. Gifted to me, turns around, gave them that romance. I wasn't looking, but that time also, three weeks for me, I got, well, you know. Let's just say the love of my life, the Ten of Cups. And as a Scorpio, I stand true to that. I stand true to that. Okay, well, I'm not gonna get, keep this any longer. Mm -hmm. The only thing missing in this picture with this Two of Cups is they ain't wearing that bracelet. <laughs> 360, turns around, hangman, love. Okay, gifting is very, very important with remedies, gifting. There are certain gifts that you cannot give and there are certain gifts that you should be giving. Two of Cups right here, you're in a crossroads. Um, I don't know if you guys like it when I share my mystic side, you know, the secret stuff that I do. Okay, the Two of Cups here with the Hangman, you feel like this is it, Sal. This is it with the Two of Cups and the Hangman. You are definitely feeling all the love, you know, the connection with your person. You just want to see them, but you're just right now, um, you know, well, you're more stuck in your head with the Nine of Swords. Now I'm going to change the spread here because I have your 30 days there with the sun card. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to get here is the immediate seven days. Okay? So this is what will happen since you're stressed. We also have a, I believe the new moon is happening in your seventh house. Yes, it's happening in your seventh house. It is in Taurus also. Okay. So seven days over here. So there's a lot of things uh, um, that is going to be, um, uh, how do you say, it's developing relationship wise for you. Mm, okay. You have the next seven days, the best course of action, what your person is about to do and what you need to do. If you miss out the previous reading, make sure to check it out because I did a 30-day um, reading also for the other reading. It's the most recent one before this. And your foreseeable future if you guys are sharing. Okay. okay. And then for me, I believe handmade, of course, as far as handcrafted okay, is very important, not machine-made. This is handcrafted by me. That's where the magic is. It's the one who creates it, the one who puts the energy into it. Okay. Okay, let's continue. Now, I feel like you have, your person right now, I don't, say, I don't see them here. I don't know why, I don't see them. Okay, but I feel their energy, whatever that they're going through with the hangman, you know, they're probably stuck with something, but they're stuck in love with you. Oh, Scorpio, what is this? You get nine of swords, ten of cups, and then you have the ten of swords. My, 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 Sharona, what's going on? Wow, will of fortune, yes. <sighs> I can't, like, if I have any heart issue with your reading, Scorpio, or I have a heart, it's like, Man, you are really something. You got the devil after the Wheel of Fortune. How is this going around in circles with someone that you love, but then someone you hate, but someone you try to avoid and then back again? It is an on and off, I feel. Ten of Cups to the Ten of Swords. Or there's just always argument between the two of you. Knight of Wands can be a younger person. Eight of Cups over here who walk away. That's why I don't feel their energy. Ooh, but there's a death card. It does look like your person is about to make a move. You won't see it coming with a death card. That's a, that's like um, you know the unforeseen, which we will see now. Let's use this card. So seven of cups, empress with a death card. They could have broken up with you. You have ten of swords over here. It can be a Scorpio. I see that they're about to break a news to you. Let's see that eight of cups over here with the knight of wands. Why did if they walk away with the eight, and then I see uh, that you have a two of cups over here. It always comes around. If it's eight to the ten, they found self love and other love. Eight to the two come back to you. That's how I that's how I do my reads. Okay. Because this is someone who's looking for the tenth, basically. Eight plus two is ten of cups. So you are their ten of cups. Let's see if this person, like what I mentioned, okay, gonna make it this uh, make that decision to come to you. Okay. And this wheel of fortune, this is good. Be the king of pentacles with the wheel of fortune. If you're focusing on the coins, money is good. Wheel of fortune over here. Let's see how. Um, this is normally timing also. Wheel of Fortune is about the season. So if it's summer, then is it manifesting 
moving towards winter, spring, fall. Okay? Because right now it is summer. So it's a turn. So something, something is about to turn. So this may be a, a reading that lasts a little longer before it manifests. Okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is supposed to turn to your favor. Let's see. So maybe around, uh, well, I don't think. Uh, I'm hearing something about August though. That's pretty soon. Okay. Let me see your card of focus. Everything is in the description box below. It's down there. You have to click more and you will see a link for the extended reading. You click that. And of course, our wonderful rose quartz gifting. You, you get, I gave you that remedy already, right? Okay. So if you skip it, then rewind it. Okay. Gifting is ideal. Give it to a person that you really care and you really love, okay? Here we go. Oh, and you cannot divulge the intention. It has to be kept secret. If you tell them, hey, I'm giving this to you. No, the intention has to be pure. Does it make sense? It doesn't work also. Just giving a heads up. Oh, card of focus, six of coins. Giving and receiving. I like it. Reaching out, breaking of silence, two people coming in together. Those hands right there, there may be a gap right now, but it does look like, look at that. A cycle, this infinity symbol. You may connect with the infinity symbol also. So soulmates coming together. Wow. Will you though? Will you in the sun card here in the third day? The sun is the atma, the soul. You do have a toxic connection. I'm just letting you know. Okay. Or the devil. Because there is an unhealthy pattern of the way that you guys deal with each other. But we're going to find out. Link in the description box below. Let's dive deeper. Don't forget, we're going to get lit in the next 30 days as the sun and the new moon happen in your seventh house. I'll see you down there.